Uh, Cetera 18. We're playing. We're playing creative, Cetera. I don't even know this, but if you want diamonds, here, here's some diamonds. Let me just chuck 64 diamonds on the ground for you. Hi, though. Welcome to the stream. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I guess we go down and then back up again. Two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, and five. And you hear like news stories of people getting arrested for going into their own homes because <laughs> they look suspicious. Uh, we are building a giant train network, although it's taking a long time and you're not going to see any trains today because we're just laying out where the tracks are going to go. Uh, we are nowhere near any of the actual built stuff, so unfortunately it's a bit difficult to show you. It's basically a large redstone switched train network. There's uh, 25 destinations and we're going to link every one of them up. Because trains are fun. Okay, so we go up to here. Across and down here, I think. And then diagonal across from there. All right, see you later. Let's see, down here. And then down here. Five. Um, probably should diagonal across as soon as possible. One, two, three, and four. Oh, they announced, was it, um, Vault 76? Was it, is it the new one from Bethesda? They haven't announced what kind of game it is yet, but I'm going to make a prediction right here. I think it's probably going to be Fallout Battle Royale, Vault 76. It sounds like Fallout Battle Royale. <laughs> I knew that would be the response, Wesley. <laughs> I knew you would respond like that. But think about it. Reclamation day? You go you go out and reclaim the surface? It's a it's a multiplayer survival building reclamation day? Of course it's Fallout Battle Royale. How else is gonna how else is it gonna work? It's gonna be like Vol 76 is gonna be like a cloning facility where you make clones. And then you go up and you have a battle royale and you can reclaim the surface. <laughs> Minecraft battle royale is crap, Cetera, because the combat in Minecraft is crap. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The combat in Minecraft is way too primitive and rudimentary for Minecraft battle royale to be fun, is my opinion. Uh, what should we do here? What should we do here? I think we just go straight across. It's gonna be above the landscape. In defense of Minecraft, they were kind of the first to do it. They were. They were. The thing is, Minecraft combat has never been good. Really. But Minecraft is the first to do building. Right? 
and the, the combination of building and combat. Doesn't make that's crap, that's right. <laughs> I... Hmm. Minecraft is full of interesting ideas, but as you say, Wesley, being the first also kind of means that uh, there's a lot of things to improve on. The whole Battle Royale hype... I mean, it makes sense from a business case too, because the Battle Royale and any sort of multiplayer too, like any sort of multiplayer game you can have a lot of people playing for a lot of hours in very little content, right? Because it's just the same map, you just pile up and it's just kind of like a random loot and you just pile a whole bunch of people in there and every round is the same map with a bit of that random loot and the players generate all the interactions from that. So from like a, from a business perspective, it's a very small investment compared to, say, like a single-player game that's worth several hundred hours. You know, like, even a, an actual Fallout game or an actual Skyrim, uh, actual uh, Elder Scrolls game, like, they put so much work into that, and yet you get a lot of hours out of it if you, you know, play through all the content. But it's so much work. Whereas the Battle Royale, it's not that much work. I mean, obviously you have to make the game, but comparatively, it's very little work. I guess MOBAs are the same. The uh, the Dotas, the League of Legends. It's a similar thing where, like, you just people just play the same map map over and over and over again, <laughs> and so the amount of unique content is quite low. Although people do have a lot of fun playing through the same stuff over and over again. More skill involved there, though, I feel like, than Battle Royale? I guess so. I, I'll be honest, I have not played, like, any Battle Royale games. <laughs> like, so... <laughs> I mean, I think maybe I, maybe I should at least try it. I'm not a... I'm not a huge PvP player, like any sort of PvP, I'm not that much that into. So there's that too. Fallout Battle Royale I think it'll work. I think it'll work. It can work. I mean, there's the crafting, there's the... I mean, the, it's already... A, like, you know, back in Fallout 4, there's already a lot of... Like, looting, combat, crafting... Now you just make that multiplayer... Uh, time limited. And and that's your that's your Fallout Battle Royale. <laughs> I think it fits, right? Maybe they can make it less battle and more co-op. Like, what if you have to build a town? What if it's co-op? Would you like it better if it's co-op, Wesley? What if instead of fighting each other, you co-op against the environment and you have to build a town and defend it? But still, it's like the market is getting overflowed with it. <laughs> you say that, Wesley, but there's only two big ones. There's only Fortnite and PUBG. Every title now has a battle royale. Yeah, but nobody plays them except Fortnite and Player Unknown's Battleground. <laughs> Only two gets played. <laughs> Maybe if it's co-op versus the environment, I'd be more interested. Like you get a hundred players, 
and you have to work together to build and defend your town against against the uh, hostile enemies. Did I do this the wrong way around? No, I didn't. I did it the right way around. Okay. It makes it makes it even more stupid to implement them. Wait, what? Which makes it dead content? Fortnite makes a lot of money though, which I don't understand why. If no one would play, why bother making? <laughs> Fortnite makes a lot of money, Wesley. I mean. It's the only one people play. <laughs> it made a lot of money. They're putting in a hundred million into Fortnite esports because they've made like half a billion <laughs> or something crazy. Uh, I should probably push this back. One, two, three. Yeah, let me push this back two blocks. Fortnite made a butt ton of money. I mean, whether or not it's, it's sustainable is a, is a different question. It's a, it's a little like social networks, right? Only one can be successful because the network... Like, you know, if... <laughs> The more people who plays the one, the more other people want to play that one because everyone's playing it and the other ones have no players. So everyone just kind of congregates to one battle royale in the end. So only, only one battle royale game can win that battle royale of battle royale games. <laughs> like there's no point playing any other ones. If everyone else is just playing the the one popular one. Anyway, we'll see. When's E3 again? It's only in it's a couple of days, isn't it? They're gonna announce the actual thing. Maybe we should throw battle royale creators in a real battle royale. <laughs> if your game doesn't sell a million copies in the first month, you are eliminated. <laughs> it's a bit like that though, it's pretty cutthroat. <laughs> Alright, how's Wesley doing? Wesley is going backwards? Um, Wesley has marked out where he wants to go. Oh, hey, there's a big jungle here. Are you just gonna plow straight through the jungle? I guess there's no avoiding it. The thing with big jungles is that they're not very interesting. It's just kind of trees. Trees and leaves. Anyway, that's fine. Let me go to 4-4, since I finished 4-2. Oh no! Missing chunks! If I go into there, I believe... Oh, I... Ooh. I can't even go into there. Oh, that's interesting. They've put a new... Oh, this is super interesting. They put invisible walls around glitched chunks. Oh wait, no, there's a... never mind, I can go into there. So I don't want to go into there because if I do... Uh, I'll glitch out the game and we have to restart the server. <laughs> yeah. Instead of fixing them, just put invisible walls on the boundaries <laughs> so you can't go into them. <laughs> I, I think I know what happens. It's like... There must be like just a simple math error because you walk in one direction and the chunks unload behind you and you turn around and they should reload. But I think what happened here is that the chunks unloaded, I then I turned around and then they didn't load back the chunks that just unloaded. I think that's what happened here. So if you just stop moving right on the boundary and then turn around and go backwards, then you end up 
having missing chunks from what's loaded. Which, I mean, it's, it should be a pretty simple math error, right? You just need to load chunks closer than you unload. Like, let's say you, if the unload distance is a thousand, then the load distance should be a little less than that to make sure that you always load more than you unload. Is that right? Or is that going to break things? No, that should be right. Anyway, somebody call Microsoft and tell them there's an error in their programming. So this one, I believe, comes down here and then bridges across this stuff. Yeah, no, it's not a rare occurrence. It's quite common. <laughs> And whoa, mountains! Oh, and oh, this is Skyland. I see. Ah, uh, Skyland. Hmm. There's an alpaca on top of the mountain. The loneliest alpaca. I guess we tunnel through the mountain and then bridge across. Oh no, there's also this stuff. Holy crap, there's a lava. That's a that's a big ass lava fall. Alright, let's let's avoid the lava fall. I guess come across here and then like bridge over. Uh Wow, it's complicated. <laughs> It's quite... Okay, let's do the simple stuff. So we come straight down, turn 90 degrees, and then go across. And then chopping down these trees. Fallout Battle Royale, I mean you can also have like uh, maybe two teams you Have like the Vault team and the Raider team So instead of having a free for all you have like a, a huge team based Competition That might work <laughs> Have you ever played any of the Far Cry games? No I I don't like the style of it. <laughs> Isn't it often like just a white dude in the wilderness? If you, I don't know if it's kind of weird to say this, but it feels really uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's like a white dude in the new. Isn't it though? Am I wrong? I mean, that's what it looks like to me. It's it's too it's too um. It's too big, gross. It's too like, yes, yeah, it's it's that sort of thing. It's like, it's like all, all right, dude. <laughs> Apart from the last one, it's the kind of uh, wilderness escapist fantasy thing, I guess. I don't know. It's a white dude with American coats. <laughs> okay. It's it's a white dude in rural America in rural America, yeah. So it's uh. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> anyway, are you? Should I play them, Wesley? Do you think I should uh? Role play as a white dude. <laughs> kind of signed. Scientology cult, okay. And by white dude, I don't just mean, you know, a light-skinned guy from Europe. I also mean like a city person or like somebody who's doesn't really belong in the wilderness. 